Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the ninth question from Neat Code SQL 15 to questions. The objective is very simple. So we just have to find out the days where the temperature is greater than the previous days. So they have given a record date 2015 January 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. All we have to do is find out days where the temperature is greater than the previous day. For instance, if we look at this on 2nd January, the temperature is greater than the previous day. So 2nd January is, has more temperature compared to previous day. Uh, we have to print out this. Uh, only this column they are asking us to print out, not all. Um, we have to print out ID, you see this here. Um, here if you see on 3rd of Jan, temperature was lesser than the previous day. So we, we have to skip this, we don't have to print out this. And now here, if you see on 4th of January, the temperature again got increased uh, compared to previous day. So we have to print out this. Uh, so this, it's, it's a problem uh, comes in, in, in self-join. Self-join is where you uh, create uh, a replica of the same table. It's like a joining two tables, but you the other table, table A, table B, when you join two tables, um, generally you will have different tables. But when, in this context, you have to create a replica of the same table. So we self-join, we, using self-join, we can solve this problem. What do you mean by self-join? So if you uh, see, what I'll do is, I'll, I'll create a, a table, let's say. Basically, I'll create a table, this called W1. This is the table one, the other one, and this is the table two. So same table, I'll take a replica. And what I do, I, I, I join these two tables and I will try to find out for this day um, corresponding match using, using uh, you know, ID or whatever the condition they mentioned. So, I will try to join these two tables and find out. For instance, what we need is we basically need the day difference. The day, day, day difference, if you see the yesterday, how do I get the yesterday? I can get the yesterday if the difference between this recorded date from this table and this table if, if it is 1, so that becomes I, I get a previous day. So the difference between, it's, it's just a one day difference, right? So somehow what I try to do is I'll try to get the difference between this day, um, 1 was a difference. difference. So how do I do this? I'll, I have a difference between column of this day and column of this day is 1. That's, that's what we will uh, we'll do. So let's do one thing, let's select. Let's select all, all the columns uh, from, from, I'll choose this one, whether, whether, um, I'll say, let's say it's a W1 and I'll, I, so it's basically I am just trying to do a self join, right? So self join means I, again, uh, I use join, I'll say whether, W2. So this is same table. Now what 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 is the condition? Main condition is, you know, the difference between difference between the current date and the uh, previous. Date. So, so basically, date. So we'll get two tables. We'll get W1 and W2. The difference between this recorded date of this table and recorded date of this uh, table. Uh, so it sh we should be different. Uh, one. So what there is a function called. Um, so I'll just say this where there is a function called date diff. So I use that function where I'll say uh, you take w ones dot this is the column name right. There are multiple ways to solve this. I'll just use this one very simple w2. If you see if you visualize this self join is all about how do you visualize so if you visualize this, you will understand what I'm trying to say equal to 1. So let's see how the data looks like. You will get two tables, uh, W2, yeah, sorry, okay, the output is it is not expected. This is the output they are expecting, but I'm for for us to visualize how it looks like. See, this is the W1 table one. This is W2 table. So luckily, what we got is we got 
the differences. So if you see the difference between on this record, on this record, if you see uh, where the difference between this date and this date, if you see this is the 2nd January and this is the 1st January. And this is the difference between this third, this is the 3rd January and this is the 2nd January. This is the 4th January and this is the 3rd January. So the difference is correct. So I mean the difference between these two, we got it. Now what we need is we need ID, ID um, as a column. Uh, now ID of now IDs are in here as well, which is uh, W2. IDs are also here as well. Which tables ID we need? W1's ID or W? If I say W1, uh, W2's ID, so I'll get these things. If I say W1's ID, I'll get these things. What is the output? The way this is one, 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 one of the things because it, there are two uh, columns of the same name. We have to explicitly specify which column we need. That's one thing. The second thing, there is also condition, right? Uh, if you see this one. This is the this if you see this one, you know this if you see this is the current day today. Let's say this is the today, then this is the yesterday, and this is the today, and this is the yesterday's previous days. So what we need is we also need uh, a temperature which is greater than the previous day, right? So we can we can simply there are again there are multiple ways to solve from here as well. Uh, so what we need to do is we just have to check. Let's assume that this is today and this is all the informations are there for yesterday's. So we have to also tell, um, mention that temperature should be greater than the previous day, right? So that's also one of the things which we have to specify. So that means um, all you have to do is we also have to tell and and I'll say. And I'll I can say W1, W2, whichever the way W2, W2, this should be lesser than this, or maybe this should be greater than this. So could be anything. Uh, temperature, right? Temperature should be less than or equal to W1 temperature. Let's see what we get. So here. Okay, all right. We we got what we needed. So if you see this one, uh, this temperature is. Imagine this is yesterday's information, and this is at this record. I'm talking about at this record. Um, this is uh, today's information. This is yesterday's information. The temperature is higher. Uh, the middle row got skipped because um, we needed a date of a difference one, and obviously, and the condition condition did not uh, meet. So that's why it got skipped. So here also, we got the correct difference. If you see this on the fourth. January, the temperature is higher than compared to 3rd January. Now question is which one should I take this ID or this ID? Uh, this is in W1, this is in W2. So we have to take W1, W1 dot ID. So that's where I we get all the, um, yeah, so this is what they wanted. We got all the IDs where uh, the record date is current date record date is high temperature higher than the previous day. This is all it. Uh, let's submit. Let's see the results. Okay, it got accepted. Uh, you can try this one. So let's say you can try. Uh, what if I I say the difference between these two as minus one, and now you know check try out what should I use W1 or W2 at this place and how do I change this condition. Try out this and let me know your inputs and comments. Thank you for watching.